what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's lizzie atkins here as always and i'm back with another bang today is another daily tutorial video so get right into it so i got my gilly this is a natural key gilly i'm using and i folded it into two and started making my pleats I got myself an elastic band, a black one, but you can always get one that same color as your ghillie or a black one. So right after you do it that, you tie the ghillie with your elastic band and you make sure it's tight and secure because you're going to need that to, to put on your head. After you've done that, you get like a hand looking ghillie and you open it up and you place it right on your head so the fan the fan bit on the top can be on anywhere it can be in the center it can be on the side left right whichever way you prefer but i was trying to make it on the center so in the center and i just followed my daily round straighten it up give myself a bit of pleats because i like pleats on my daily so why not You can see I was just getting the pleats together and making it as neat as possible and then I did the same on the other side folded it in and then just carried on the pleats that was already there I wasn't creating anything new I was just following up what was already on the gilling and then I turned around and tied it at the back to secure it firmly because Jesus is my firm foundation. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my um so I got the other hand and twisted it and just brought it round to the top and I pinned it down myself pin and I pin it down right as you can see just grab yourself the pin make sure it's the one that doesn't have the bubble on the top because that way it just disguises into the ghillie it doesn't stand out it's not obvious and it's seamless and I did I repeated the same step on the other side twisted the left over gilly the thing that i saw that my hair was getting caught with the gilly did the same thing and then got myself a pin as well to secure it on the other side After I did that, I came around to the front, put all of my, and pulled it to make sure it was nice, tight, and secure. You know, the skelly is not gonna move, baby. You want it to stay all night. So when you're like messing, when you're skillying, when you are twerking, you know, the gilly would not move. And as you can see, the black um, elastic band is not showing. It's not too obvious, it's seamless. And it's almost like, just like a shadow into the gilly tying. So I was just trying to figure out how I wanted this to stand, like the way I wanted it to stay. I was just like fiddling around and eventually ended with this. I just kept, you know, I did that for this side. I did it, did the same step for the other side. And that was that, to be honest. And like I said, you can wear it however you wish on the side or in the middle or left or right whichever way you want or whichever that you see that suits you best you know it is about what suits your face it's not about what everyone is wearing or what is in town it's about actually what really suits your face so if you feel like it will suit you more on the side then yeah go for it yeah keep watching guys Thank you. 
so this is the final look of this particular style guys what do you think i think it's nice and cute and different and unique stylish sassy it's giving rich auntie it's giving i'm unique it's giving i'm gonna style that at my party so yeah guys i do hope you enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can always be in this kitchen every time my easy acting so blue hold up don't go yet you, you thought it was over ah! no so i tried something different before ending up ending the video and it turned out really nice and cute so if you thought mm, that style wasn't for you then you can always just switch it up or you can switch it up in the middle of the party and they'll be like oh you changed up your game then you went to tie some of the different two styles at one party how unique is that so this is something different you can do literally just took the i took the end and then i just spin it round and that was that that's all i did to achieve this look it was nothing different nothing like difficult yeah just that and then pin it to secure it and it was really cute it was given ascot yes that's the word yeah ascot give me so yeah guys this is the end now and this is officially the end of this video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I, Lizzie Atkins, upload new content. If you're new to my channel, I do tutorial videos, vlog, fun videos, and live talk. So if that's up your alley and that's definitely what you're looking for, stay tuned and become one of us. another ghillie tutorial video so let's get into it you want to grab your ghillie today we are using Ashura K I divided this into 50 50 measurement got my then placed it on my head brought it brought the other hand you see and brought it right underneath my chin and then I used my leg to hold it so I put it between my legs to hold it tight and I came round to the front and I was doing the pleats. So I was straightening the pleat. I wasn't creating anything. I was just following what was already there and making sure it's aligned and it's a straight one. So I did that all the way, kept doing that until I got and achieved all the pleats that were there. And once that was achieved, I grabbed it and immediately let go of the one that was between my legs. So I kept doing that until I achieved what I wanted and I got, went all the way to the back where it meets and crossed it. So you can see here I was trying to make sure I don't get any of my hair caught between the gillies. So I was just trying to get all my braids, my twist out of the, between the gillies. And then I crossed it and then once I did, I started doing my pleats. From the bottom part so you can see I was lifting up the ghillie I was still fighting with my hair guys advisable either wear a wig cap put your hair in a bun or put your hair in a donut before tying your ghillie on yourself you know just advice um, so yeah I got the ghillie and I placed it placed it on the top part of my head and I started creating pleats 
so for this part of the ghillie i wanted it to be a fan now because i wanted it to be fan the plates would not be like equal so i started slanting it as you can see the slants and i just kept doing that all the way to the top Once all of my plates are achieved, I just picked up the middle part, the bottom, and then twisted because I don't want the fan all the way to the back. I because I'm gonna create another look on the other side. I grabbed that hand and a hoodie to make sure it was tight enough, and grabbed the top of the gillet and pinned it together just to hold it in place. So once I was done, I came around to the front and just make sure the pleats that I created was straight, was fine, was following all the way to the top. And I just kept using my hand to lift it, to adjust it and make sure like that fan was what I wanted. Then I took the other hand of the ghillie and I flicked it all the way to the back. So I brought it to the back of the fan, not the back of the ghillie, not the back of your head, the back of the fan that I've created previously. And I was following it because I, on this side of the gilly, I want it to be round. So the style I was creating was half fan, half round. So I just kept doing that and making sure the plates follows. Because this is round, you can see that the plates are coming over each other. Not slanted, not on the other side, they're coming over each other. So I came around and then I got the end of the gilly. And I took the old the pin I had on the other side, the other hand of the gilly. I took that off and I tied my ghillie. This is the way I secure my ghillie. So I secured it real tight, real good, and it was moving. And once that was done, I came back around to the front, still adjusted the fan, but I thought, you know what, I'll adjust that at the end because I still needed to do the round. I kept doing my pleats over each other, as you can see guys, over each other. I was just folding it, folding it from the top all the way to the bottom. Did that, did the same thing, did the same thing from the middle, it was folding it from the top all the way down, as you can see guys, it's over each other. And I wasn't creating anything, it's just over each other. And then I just did that and made sure it was it came all the way around and I used my hand. I was just adjusting it, guys. You just keep adjusting it until you get what you want and you achieve the look that you're going for. I just kept doing that. Once that was done, I came around to the front to adjust my fan. As you can see, I'm lifting my fan and I was like, yes, this is what I want. So I just made sure the ghillie was neat. Just trying to make it neat as possible. So you can see when the plates over each other.
once I was happy with the way it looked, I just got myself a pin to pin both the fan and the round together, just so they stay in place and it gives that seamless look, that seamless transition from the fan, from the round into the fan. And then I kept adjusting and I wasn't quite happy with the amount of daily that was left on this side because it wasn't looking on the other, it wasn't looking on the same level as the other one. So I just came out round and then I pulled the top bit. Yeah, I just pulled it in just so I can get all of the extra gillies that was on that side that I didn't like and I didn't want. Pulled it and you can just see that it's there. So magic. And then I came around to the front and I was just adjusting it. And if I saw that I needed a bit more to come out, I pulled it back out bit by bit. And yeah, I just kept fiddling with it until I was happy with the look. And that was it, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I lose actions of new content. Follow me on all my social media platforms at Lazy Atkins on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Let's be friends and let's stay connected. For now, remain blessed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Keep watching. Grab your gilly and split it in to 50-50 and then this for this style you part it you half it into two so you um, fold it up so you fold it and then half it to 50-50 as you can see that one's doing that so you half it and you split 50-50 right and as always I say you just always press your gillies and then you can see I got my 50-50 and I placed it on my head, I put my hand into a loop and I grabbed it into the loop, if you can see, grabbed it into the loop and just make sure it's as tight as possible, just use your hand and adjust whatever space and gaps are between because obviously it's a loop, there's going to be a bit of space but just get your hand and loop it right. And then once I've got that, I open up the gillies and I grab each end and just spin it round as you can see. And then once I got to the middle to the end, I made sure the pleats and the fan look kind of like the spin 
look was the effect was visible i got myself a pin and i secured my gilly my rose i just put a pin there and secure it you can use more than one pin you can use as many pins as possible just make sure the gilly is secure this gilly it don't move and it don't move because you secured it with a pin let's look at that and so as you can see i just took it and shifted it a little bit to the side because personally i prefer it to stay on the side but you can always style it to your desired look as you can see this gilly is simple quick easy no hassle hassle free church work work occasion obviously special occasion um yeah just even a party like just to look different from the regular ghillie you can always tie this ghillie simple and easy quick ghillie rose ghillie there is a ghillie tutorial video so i'm gonna do a quick tutorial video here um so obviously you need your ghillie your pin and yeah i got my ghillie i divided it into two and then i stayed twisting it at once I twisted it and then I tuck it, I pocket it into my head. This style is very easy and simple and quick, like quick, legit quick. Um, so I tighten it, fasten it to my head to sit properly and I get the two hands and I literally just, you know, nicely tight it round to give it that um, rose look at the top and then i grab my pin and i pin it to secure it into place um i've only put one pin on mine but you can always put more than one to you know just make sure it sits well um yeah i just use my hand to secure it and move it around and as you can see i've got my bro's gilly period that's it i'm taking it off show you guys see when i took it off it kind of came off a bit but yeah i was i got a pin to secure that so i'm just putting on my head to show you that you can wear it um slightly different put my hair down i put my hair back and put i read my hair back and put okay so i put my hair <laughs> down and then i wore it again as you can see it's simple and easy you can wear it over your head you can wear it with your hair in the ponytail you can wear it with your hair all back as this suits you this is so simple so easy you can wear it to church you can wear it to parties you can wear it to stand out anyways that's the end splits in the middle but this time around you're not doing equally because you're doing the final the twist you're not doing the 50 50 you're going to do the 30 70 instead so i'm gonna head out and split so that's the middle this is the 50 50 and my 30 70 would be this this is my 30 70 so if you really want to see in details how i do this please click on my video on how i tie my turban it's literally singular used so no qualms and this so now press it as always get my straight line I do my pleats your plates and bring them remember you're holding the other one with your hands i know this is not the easiest but in quarantine you have to do what you have to do in it so well not like you're going anywhere like so also my plates are folded are here just gonna bring them out beautifully so they can show I can show them off beautifully so here they are like so those are my pleats 
and depending on how much pleats or if you want to call it pleats if you want to call it steps you know it's up to you depending on how much you want you know you keep going but to me this is enough i'm happy with this and now i start to make my fan so i start to build up my fan like so just watch that i'm going i'm making sure it goes all the way and like so right And then remember, because this is a fan, it's going to be slanted. It's not going to be round. Put them over each other equally. It's going to become a pleated round. That's the bridal, the typical bridal style. But because we want this to be a fan with the twist, and you see that I am stopping my fan halfway here. I'm not going any further than this, where my hand stops here. And this is my fan. And remember to always you know, press it out. Press it out, iron it out, you know, whatever you want to call it. We are. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I bring it over to lock down the fan so it does not move my fan does not move so I use that to lock down my fan so it does not move from place you can see and I place my hand hold it down while I twist so the fan does not twist with me because we don't want a twisted fan do we we want a fan with a twist so I've got my twist so I am happy with my twist, I'm happy with my fan. Don't worry too much, I'll come, in, we'll come back to arrange this. As long as this does not move from its place, everything is still good. You're good to go. Right, now you tie your ghillie as always, as usual. So before I finish that off, I'll just come back around to the front, just following, you know, what I've done here. Not doing anything new, just literally following everything I've done here to make it look neat and clean. Let me make that come up like so. If you think you've got too much excess here, you can just come around to the back here and pull. If you see, if you pull, we're getting you're pulling away the excess so just come around here and make this look neat don't style gilly with earrings <laughs> if your earrings on take them off no don't take them on. do your gilly first before you put your earrings on this is what happens this is what will happen if you do your gilly with your earrings on i mean some people can but Clearly, Lizzie cannot because it just came off. Now, I'll show you all how to tie it. So, here we are. And then just tidy up the back, you know, my pin. Voila. Here we are. Let me try. I'm gonna try and give it 360 on this. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna move it back a bit because that's what you do once your gillet is done. And ooh, feels good. Actually, that looks beautiful. That actually looks like this looks like auto gilly. I, I swear the pleats I'm sorry I'm just I'm praising myself because this actually looks good this looks good yes self-love I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful I hope it was you know heating some points and I hope it was clear enough step by step on how I have done and achieved this look this style is called 
fan with the twist. They pleats today, so I'm just gonna fold that in like so. I'm just gonna fold it in and place it right on my head. You can see the line middle on my head, and I'm gonna crisscross at the back like so. I'm gonna make sure this comes right slightly over my ear so it goes slide off. Depending on where you want your finish in, either in the middle, on the side, or the other side you're gonna knot your you're gonna have your knot on that side so I want my finishing on this side so I'm gonna bring it right here and have my knot on this side yep like so don't worry about this clean it up clean that up so it just looks nice and tidy Remember you can have this uh, twist or just like this. I can, I'll show you how you can have this, the, this side coming over as a twist. But now let's go into this. All right. And now you wanna fold your, just fold it in. Did the same this okay now we're going in for the rollers you get your pin pin it where it's not visible so try and hide your pin as much as possible so it's not visible and I got my extra here. And we're done. That was quick, right? I know. Trust me, it's not, it's actually absolutely not that hard. So I'm just gonna sh Shift that back. Right, so this is it with a flat, and like I said, you can have it as a twist. And that's having it as a twist so I did I did another finishing kind of rolls on the twists so that's my twisted side and that's all my gift thank you all for watching today's video I hope you've enjoyed this do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and if you haven't and you give a thumbs down do let me know in the comments down below 
why you have given this video a thumbs down do not forget to like comment share and subscribe let's get into this video we want to split our gillet into i want to say 70 30 more like 80 20 yeah right like that 80 20 because you're going you're coming you're coming both ways right and like always you want to just press that down right my other videos my other tutorial gilly tutorials um it's literally just when i when i did do the plates it's the straight plates so this is the cross of the v so the v crossing i don't know whatever you want to call it details of the plates click on my first tutorial video which is the gilly how to tie top and gilly just click on that and i literally explained in details how you can get a five 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 steps we want to do our pleats because that's my line right there and this is why we press it because we want to see that line this is my line over here so my line is going to come to my middle here So, usually on the normal pleats you go over your ears, but because I'm doing the V, I'm going right behind my ears, right? Going right behind my ears to cross it over. P.S. Don't wear earrings to do this before, before doing this. So do this then wear your accessories, right? So right, I got that. And now my second one. Whoop. And then I do my pleats. Like I say, as much as you want, as little as you want. Because if you're first time trying it, you want to be as little as possible. I mean, and if you are, if you count yourself as an intermediate level, then you want to do as many as possible so the same thing I put that over my ears and like the same so this one I'm putting it back okay it's not like the other one that you can put across that like, you just come straight this is coming right here behind me like so here is I get my pin and I just put in round there just to hold this down here for me so it doesn't move too much like so so that's my B it crosses and that's the that's V so as a normal V if you just want to do the one V the one V step well the one V platform the step you just bring this one, you bring it around and do your finishing, right? Well, because I'm doing a double one, and I'll bring my second side here. Because I pin it down, you know, it's not moving anywhere anytime soon. So the same thing, I'm going to bring this over. Like so. Grab my pin and I pin this down. Now to finish it, I mean, this already looks like <laughs> some people will come for me and be like, "Yo, Lizzie, you crazy?" This already looks like a style, but let's be more sophisticated, okay? And let's do, let's finish this off. So I said I was doing the fan. And now I'm doing my finishing touches. Right a bit now.
boom now come and make this very neat okay so we've got our style our double crossing double x in front so is a room the the room the the room and we've got a fan which is gonna make up our clean up the back and we are done <laughs> we are done with this the kaboom kaboom Thank you all for watching this video. I hope this tutorial has been very helpful and I hope you enjoyed watching this. What you want to do is have your guinea into 70-30, fold it in, just fold it in once and do it on the head. And then all I'm doing at the back here it's just twisting it. I'm not tying anything, hanging everything together, and I am twisting like so. So it's kind of tight enough to stay on my head. So, do you wanna? What you want to do is just fold those in neatly over each other. Obviously, just holding it. It's just, just for it to be neat. It doesn't have to be. Plates and the same thing you do here. Hold it neatly. And come round. Put this over like so. Over each other. I say over each other because you know you don't want it. At the back, from the back, you want it right over each other, like over each other. You hold it and you tie this like so. So you tie it, but then you bring this round, bring it round to the back, like so. You've got this little going on here and got that now you want to try and make sure you've got equal parts on this side as well like so right now you want to do the same thing as well fold it over on each other try and make sure this is equal to this if it's not you keep adjusting it till you get equal sizes and this is in here I can leave it like this and I can pin it down but for my safety and for the tutorial I will be pinning this down just right there. Okay, it's right in the middle so it's going to stay. And I bring this over. Just bring it over around. And you're gonna pin this down as well at the back. Here. and then you've got this right now on the final step you just want to bring out your mini mouse slash ball wings out We have our bowl slash mini mouse gilly. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you were trying this at home. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can always get notification when I upload new content.
up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's Lizzie Atkins here as always <laughs> yes thank you for staying with me on my beautiful journey and to my new viewers who have just clicked on this video I do hope you enjoyed today's video and join the family because you're always welcome I'm back with another gilly tutorial and this time I will be showing you you all how to tie the million pleat bridal stuff so this is the typical well this used to be the typical nature bridal style but now there's like oh lord you obviously like always need your ghillie and always your pain to make it. like always you split your Gilly and you want to split it into 80 20. Okay? 80 20. No. And you do our plates. If this is your first time clicking on my Gilly tutorial, click on this video to watch and see how I did the plates in. And like always, you crisscross at the back. Bring this round and bring this round. Okay, now we do the same thing, just pleats, pleats, and more pleats. And it's the name million pleats, you know. Want more bleed. The more the bleed, the more beautiful it is. <sighs> that makes sense. Now that I've brought my plates, I'm just bringing them over each other. Right, like so. All I have to do is follow all of this split through, literally, like follow all of this through. So now I just pin that, pin this side down and then I come back clean up all this other
thank you all for watching today's video i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel pink hair tie pink top and it's Right, so first thing first that you want to do is to get the middle of your hair tie to get it, like the length. Yeah, that's that's literally it folded. So you just fold it to get the middle and you need to do to like press it down so you can get a line. So when you open it, you don't lose the middle again. So when I open it, you can literally see the line of mine where it's pressed down. Now you want to fold it in inside out depending on the side that you want to use right you do that twice let me let me, do, let me try and make sure the camera catches that see put that in to get your plates in front and try not to lose your plate when you move it around right and then you place it on your head wherever you want it to be so mine is literally gonna start from here right see that's my middle line there it's still there because i pressed it hard so i have lost it and there we go like so and you capture everything like i really hope you guys can see this like the back i can't, I can't see my back but i really hope you can try and make sure it covers your ear but don't worry, don't press too much on your ears. Like, yeah. And then, cross over. So, literally look like you're going to church. Ah! Yeah, and then, whatever side you want to pick, straighten it out. Bit, then fold it up so you make sure you're holding it down still and then bring it over she got ass like a baby give her she won't put it on the table ah give me some my lady give her every time she have a lady really easy task to do it yourself but yeah sometimes you gotta DIY in it you gotta DIY sometimes you know maybe you're just going to church you just want to you know do something different you know so yeah you do the same on this side as well I'm 
got my plates well I'm happy with the amount of plates I've got so once you're happy with that you literally just you know straighten it make it look all nice and neat you can see it there you can see that on the side it's the same so now I'm literally gonna tie it sorry guys I've got a bit of a block sniffy nose so sniff sniff sorry just gonna tie it if you want it tighter you can if you can't pull it too much you get someone to just quickly like pull it for you but I'm not really a, much of a tight person like I don't like anything too tight on my head so I just need to leave, just put that like right. so Those sewing pin, office pin, anything that you could just not anything. Now I've got that one. Just, let me just move back. I'm trying to get you guys to see it all. And you've got your taban, the new style slash latest style people are tying nowadays in parties or. Oh, as a gilly artist, I'm getting a lot of this request, so thought let me share a video of how to tie it on my page, on my on my channel. I need to stop saying page. So I, I'm just gonna move my back a bit so I can get my beautiful, not much of a hairline, but beautiful hairline showing. But yeah, guys. band look for today i hope this was really helpful if um if it was like click the like button comment down below subscribe share it with a friend family whoever and yeah I am a